Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where I will show you how you can create the Power BI matrix chart or the pivot table as well as how to conditionally format it. So we will see step by step how we can create and format and before that just a very quick information that this sheet is present in the description where you can search for any tutorial and jump directly using the link which has been provided here and uh, and yeah you can even share it with others as well who may want to learn from it so let's go ahead and create the power bi pivot table chart all right so here we are where we earlier created the table chart so i can just delete that and to create the matrix chart i will select it matrix over here and i'll add the rows what should be in the rows let's say in the rows we should have product category and in columns let's say we should have customer segment and we in values we should have sales right so if i just expand this this is the chart which has been created for us right now in in a very simple matrix chart however it can be more complex than this but i want to show you a couple of formatting before we move on so formatting is present here first of all the style if you want a different style like the minimal style you have bold header so i suggest you experiment with this and according to your needs you try to see what what style is making sense then you have the grid whether you want the vertical grid or not so i'll just enable that and we have this horizontal grid and then down there uh, the information the formatting for the column headers and the row headers so very straightforward what i want to jump directly on two information the grand total where you can format the background color and everything of that grand total and the text size uh, and uh, then we have the conditional formatting so conditional formatting is uh, something which is useful in either in a simple table chart or a matrix chart so here if we just increase enable this background color you will see that based on the sales uh, the the conditional formatting is enabled so wherever the sales is low it's highlighted in red the background color has changed to red and wherever the sales is high it's been uh, highlighted in the green color you have the advanced control where right now the sum of sales is what we have taken and these are the colors that has been chosen but if you want a different color altogether let's say for example this one then you can even choose that which will start showing you this information also uh, in this advanced control we have the option of choosing any other field and the summarization what we want to take and accordingly our entire table will going to change so that's mainly about how you will do the conditional formatting but if you will see rest of the options are like the regular chart option now let's talk about how uh, we can add more information so for example if i just go ahead and select it uh, and go into the field along with the product category i also want to give flexibility to my users to expand it and see the relevant subcategories then in that case what i may want to add is drag this to the subcategory so now the subcategory is not enabled but if you will see this menu is now enabled so if i click on the technology over here nothing happens what i need to do is i need to enable this click to turn on drill down and now if i select technology my technology related information is coming and to go back i need to select this similarly for furniture i can select this and then go back using this similarly for office supplies this is my table for the office supplies also i have the option of using this go to the next level hierarchy if i enable this you will see that all the product subcategory information is coming over here so this is one of the options which is available uh, whether in the rows or in the columns you may want to add any number of columns that you want and if you see the conditional formatting and everything is working accordingly and with the help of this you can go back to your power bi uh, matrix chart so that's mainly i wanted to show you how you can apply the various columns uh, into the rows or various fields into the rows and fields into the columns and the measure field and uh, create your pivot table or the matrix chart is what they are saying in the power bi 
So that's about it. Now I'll meet you in the next topic.